Hello everyone, Dawn Blunt with Bright and Fire and I'm here with another story time for you all. And I'm really excited about today's story because it's about my friend Jerry and his arson dog Sadie. So Jerry is a real person who's a fire investigator and Sadie is a real dog. So Sadie's job is to help firefighters and police officers find the causes of fires. That makes her a hero. So let's read about Sadie and at the end I'll show you a real picture of her. All right, let's see what Sadie does when she goes to work. That's actually Sadie's paw print. She signed our book for us. Seek, Sadie, seek, Jerry tells his dog Sadie. Sadie knows just what to do. Sadie leads the way into the house. Jerry holds onto her leash and follows her inside. The house has been in a fire. Everything has burned. Most dogs would not want to go inside a house that's burned. It smells like the fire. And it can be dangerous. But Sadie does not hesitate. Sadie is an arson dog. She has investigated hundreds of fires. Jerry is her partner and her best friend. They work together for the Colorado Bureau of, Bureau of Investigation. They investigate the causes of fires. Some people start fires on purpose and it can be hard to catch them after everything has burned, but not with Sadie on the job. Sadie can smell and find even the tiniest amount of fuel or other things that can be used to start a fire. Sadie's sense of smell is 100 times stronger than a human's. Her nose can find things that people can't and it can find things faster than machines. Sadie and her nose are the best equipment a fire investigator like Jerry could have. Inside the house, Sadie walks past many things that have burned. She steps over loose boards that have nails sticking up. She walks around a big hole in the floor. Sadie wags her tail. She keeps her head low. She sniffs everything she passes. After just a few minutes, Sadie sits down. Sadie points to a pile of burnt wood with her long nose. She bobs her head up and down. She's telling Jerry, I found something, look over here. Good job, Sadie, says Jerry. He pats her on the head, then he gives her some food. It is her reward. Investigators take samples from the spot Sadie found. They test them and find gasoline. That means someone did set the fire on purpose. The police are able to find and arrest the person who started the fire. That person will not start another fire that could destroy more property or hurt other people. It's all thanks to Sadie and her well-trained nose. Sadie is a hero, but Sadie is just doing her job. It's a job she loves. When Jerry puts Sadie in her vest, she's always ready to work. Sadie was not always an arson dog. One day, Sadie was adopted. She was paired with Jerry. The two have been together every day since. Sadie was chosen by the State Farm Arson Dog Program to attend school in Maine and learn how to be an arson dog. Sadie learned to recognize the odors of more than 60 different things that can start a fire. Sadie and Jerry work together all 365 days of the year. Every day they practice what they learned in school. Sadie has not had a day off in many years. Jerry hides a tiny amount of something that can start a fire and Sadie does not see where he hid it, but she always finds it. One day Sadie was working at the scene of a fire. She sniffed the shoes of the people in the crowd that had gathered. She sniffed something on the shoes of two people. Not much later, they confessed to starting the fire. On some days, J 
Jerry and Sadie go to school to teach kids about fire safety. Sadie gets a lot of applause and a lot of hugs. Jerry is very proud of Sadie. She does important work that can be dangerous. She saves lives. She goes anywhere she is needed at any time. And she always seems happy. Jerry thought there should be a statue that honors arson dogs. Today, there is a National Fire Dog Monument in Washington, D.C. Sadie was the model for the dog in the statue. And that's not all. One year, Sadie was honored as the most courageous dog of her kind at the American Humane Association Hero Dog Awards. And she got to meet famous people. At the end of the day, Sadie goes home with Jerry. Her vest comes off and she becomes a four-footed, furry member of the family. Sadie is a hero who works hard with her nose and spreads happiness with the wag of her tail. The end. And that, my friends, is the real Sadie. So, a few years ago, Sadie retired, which means she stopped working, but she lives a very happy life with Jerry's daughter, Whitney, and she's very well loved and very well taken care of. And so even though Jerry doesn't have Sadie to help him do his fires now, his new dog partner, his name is Riley, and he's just as amazing as Sadie. And they go out whenever they're needed to investigate fires and help police figure out and firefighters figure out if somebody set the fire on purpose. And that makes them really pretty cool. So, actually our friend Jerry and Riley now work for Adams County Fire, uh, which is not that far from Brighton. And so if, if they're needed, they will go out to fires there. I hope everybody has a wonderful day and I hope you enjoyed this story about my friend Jerry and his dog Sadie. And I look forward to reading again for you next week. Have a good day.